My confirmation project is my gift for music. My Bible verse is Ephesians uh, 5, verses 19 through 20. As you sing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs among yourselves, singing and making melody to the Lord in your hearts, giving thanks to God the Father at all times and for everything in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Music is my inspiration. Ever since I was a baby, music has been a key part of my life. My parents played the song that I played for you this morning for me as a baby, and I would sing along. My parents tell me that I practically sang before I talked. Music has always been a way that I have been able to express my faith, whether to playing preludes for church, practicing my instrument at home, or singing as a baby. It's one of the best ways I can connect with God. In my confirmation project was a faith statement. My, my Bible verse was Judges chapter 18, verse 6. Go in peace, your journey has the Lord's approval. Throughout my years at the Columbus Heights, I've done many things that have made me who I am today. The start of my faith journey is when I was baptized at the Columbus Heights in February of 2001. Many of the people who were there with me that day are still here to celebrate my confirmation. My earliest memories are going to BBS over summers and going to Sunday school before church. Participating in the Christmas program. At Sunday school, I made many good friends that I'm so close to today. As I got older, I participated in youth group. We would have things such as lock ins, go to the corn base, and go in dairy green runs. We went on service trips to Wilderness Canoe Base and retreats to Wild. Food has also played a big part of my journey as well, going to Shrove Tuesday pancakes, Easter brunch, and soup suppers. As I got older, I was able to give back to my church by leading a vacation Bible school, ushering everyone, and helping out on vacation. All of these experiences have given me opportunities to grow and have made up my faith journey. I'm looking forward to the future to see what else God has planned for me. And I thank you all for helping me along the way. Wow, that Holy Spirit is some kind of powerful. I mean, you three really inspire me with your faith and your gifts and your willingness to share them here in church and around our community. And you guys are right. Jonah, you're exactly right. There's nothing about today that's a conclusion or an ending of faith in any way, shape, or form. It's not even a zombie apocalypse. It has to be zombies already. I mean, I mean, uh, Pastor Susan, um, have you ever considered cutting off your cable TV? Maybe getting outside a little more or going to bed a little earlier? Yeah, those are probably better ways to get inspired in preaching, that's true. But, but I have to say, it's tough to imagine anything more inspirational than the kind of face on the moon that these three have shared this morning. Keep up the good work, you guys, and the great faith, keep that up too. And now, I'm pretty sure there's only one more thing to say to wrap up this sermon, and you know what it is. Dear friends, please think about these things. Amen. Amen. <laughs>